Hi, my name's John Bigelow with Inside the Bottle TV's first beer episode. We're going to be shooting here at Tomaso's Canteen at 18 Amsterdam Street. Today we're going to be trying some Maine's fine craft beer, having a good time, and just seeing what all's going on. Come on, join me inside. Alrighty, so we found a seat here inside Tomaso's, and I'm just about to try Rising Tide's Waypoint, which is a coffee porter made with local sourced coffee as well as local sourced grain. Really nice right off you can see about this beer is it's got a great head to it with you know what the old saying used to be you could fold a quarter on a head like this and this is what it comes across with this really nice burnt burnt coffee but just as well really nice strong like very dark barley notes The touch of sweetness at the end, almost uh, almost a caramel to it. But the coffee's the coffee's very standard all the way through. It doesn't go away. It, it lets you know it's there. But this is a very well balanced beer. It's almost just a tinge of hop to it, but it's very more so in the background. Been enjoying this coffee porter here for a little bit, but I just thought I might bring you a fun fact. Uh, Portland's endowed with a great history of beer, and unfortunately, the other side of it, Prohibition, where uh, was once Mayor Neil, Neil Dow actually started um, what you call the Rum Riots of 1855, where he actually ended up calling out the city militia on a number of people and where they opened fire. Luckily, not many fatalities, but um, Beer's been wonderful so far, but I think it's time to move on to something else here. Well, one of the great things about Poland as well, as far as being a great craft beer city, it's actually rated by SmartAsset.com as being the number one craft beer city in all of Maine, as well as the U.S. Uh, and no big surprise when you have 16 plus craft breweries already in the city and growing. Well, let's try one of their brews right now. This is actually sub, uh, Substance by Bissell Brothers. This is one of the most sought after beers in all of Maine right now. Um, they actually underwent a little bit of a change about seven, eight months ago where they changed the yeast up there's been some bit of controversy over it, but it's still a fine beer. One to be sought after for sure. And just as it always has been, these great lofty citrusy notes, very strong to the nose. Just the, the eminence of the hops that they've used in this beer are phenomenal. I can never put a thumb on it quite because there's so many out there, but it's, it, it's obviously well hopped. I think one of the greatest things about this beer, and one of the things that it, it does so well for an IPA, and one of the great traits of a real good IPA is the finish. People always talk about the finish. This beer has that great finish. It's, not, it's nice bitter, but it's not an overly harsh bitter. It's nice, it's very smooth. The citrus notes are still there, still a bit of floral to it, but the beer is just so well rounded all the way through. From the first sip, from the first sip the way it sits on your palate and all the way through to the end of the finish. Phenomenal beer. We had a great time here at 18 Hampshire Street, Tomaso's Canteen. The, the staff's been phenomenal. The beer has been amazing. But 
it's time to go. Just like all good things, they have to come to an end. But make sure to check us out at Inside the Bottle TV in the beer episodes next time for number two. And until then, drink good beer.